Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah alazim Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd A supplication ayuhal ahabba Supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making dua to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is something we should strive to do in the sujood we should strive to do when waking, when after leaving the restroom, after ma while making wudu, many, many, uh, after making wudu and so forth, there are many times we should supplicate to Allah during the rain, supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Yomu Arafah, supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, all the time, as much as possible, supplicating to your Lord, asking for what you need. But something we don't want to forget, Ayu Allah Habba. We do not want to forget supplicating for one another. Supplicating on behalf of one another that when we see, regardless of whether we see our brothers and sisters going through a trial or not, or when we just want to see goodness for one another, that that's a sign of Iman. That's a sign of strong Iman and faith. Is that you want good for yourself and for others. And that you want for your brother what you want for yourself. Kama qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ma yuhibbu, la yuhibbu ahadakum hatta yuhibbu. O la yu'minu ahadakum. Hatta yuhibbu ma yuhibbu, hatta ma yuhibbu li akhihi madha yuhibbu li nafsi. O kama qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That one of you does not truly believe, meaning this true full iman. Not meaning you're a disbeliever, no. Meaning that your iman is nux, your iman is decreased if you don't love for your brother and sister Muslim what you want for yourself. So love for them what you want for yourself. If you want goodness for yourself, want goodness for them. And one of the ways we can express that is through supplication, is through dua. An Abi Darin. أن أبي دردا رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كان يقول دعوة المرء المسلم لأخيه بظهر الغيب مستجاب عند رأسه ملك موكل كلما دعا لأخيه بخير قال الملك الموكل به Ameen. Wallaka bi mithlin. Ruahu Muslim. Beautiful hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that was collected in Sahih Muslim. In this hadith of Abi Dar, or Abi Darda, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with all the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Walau kari al kafirun, walau kari al mushrikun, walau kari al ahla bid'a, mithla al rafid al shi'a. Ameen, ya rabbil alameen. Walau kari hum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humiliate them for hating the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In this hadith of Abi Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, alayhi salatu wa sallam, he said, the supplication of a Muslim for his brother in absence is accepted. Letting you know that this supplication is accepted. Supplicate kathir. Please supplicate for me. And please supplicate for your brothers and sisters. And I'll supplicate for my brothers and sisters as well. Do not forget us. Please supplicate for us. The Prophet ﷺ said, The supplication for your brother, uh, for a Muslim, for his brother, Muslim, in his absence, is accepted. Allahu Akbar. And at his head, is a, an angel, al muwakkal you know, like uh, the, this angel is going to convey this supplication. It's like it carries, it's a carry between a muwakkal, like an agent for, 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 this, for this, uh, this, this type of ibadah. Every time he makes supplication for his brother with good, with righteousness, bi khairin, the the angel says this angel that is uh, that uh, is is performing this task says amin 
and for you, similar to that. Meaning that you supplicate for your brother to, to uh, for their risk and their provisions to be uh, increased, and your risk, and then, then the angel supplicates for you. So it's like putting money in the bank for someone else in their account, and every time you do that, you get money in your account. That's an analogy that I wanted to make, that maybe we can understand in our community and culture. So that's imperative, that we supplicate for one another, so that way we will have good come to us. O oh Allah, please increase the risk of my companions. O oh Allah, please forgive my, my companions. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please raise up my companions and my children, bless them with Jannah of Rados and protect them from Kuli Suwa Makru. And O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bless the Muslims everywhere. And O every, oh Allah, please bless everyone who listens to this, that, that you increase them in righteousness and forgive them for their sins and bless them to be the inhabitants of Jannah of Rados. And if they're non-Muslims, O oh Allah, please bless them to become Muslim and be inhabitants of Jannah of Rados. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for all of our sins. And may Allah bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, ala sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm nafiyah, wa rizkin tayyibah, wa amalin mutakabbilin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.